The new movie Collide puts six strangers on a crash course as their stories and secrets are woven together in a tale of infidelity, theft, and revenge. Take a look. Sometimes you have to burn it all the way down, wiping everything out. Can I just start by saying I love you both individually for the things you've done, the people you are in your lives. And then to see you together right now and in this thing, is it's trippy. It's great. Tell us about coming together for these roles. You guys play a married couple. Well, a lot of times people think Dre and I were twins. You know, they're <laughs> like, obviously, these two had the same upbringing. <laughs> they're really the same. I mean, she might have one or two more tattoos than me <laughs> she's southern italian i'm sicilian okay and so there's a big difference you know what i mean like she's from like the boot you know right. what i mean like the ankle no it's uh it was very exciting when she was by the way i mean i think also opposites do attract so like i think it's a believable relationship i also just loved the way Jim was playing that role. I mean, my character is important in, re in regards to that, but I think what's most important is the journey that Peter takes through the movie. Because everybody's in the restaurant, he's outside of the restaurant dealing with his own mental state. We're all dealing with stuff that's going on in that busy place. So his story is like another story out there. Jim, your character spends a lot of the first half of the movie sitting alone in your car in silence. I was just curious how often you do that as a husband in real life. <laughs> well, I normally, you know, live in New York City, so I didn't even have a car, you know. Um, but by the way, I mean, I've got five kids, so that silence, that was like awesome. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just sitting there doing nothing. I would be like, and then they would be like, all right, to take a break, you step out of the car. I'm like, all right, I'll stay in here. One of the other threads in this movie is a, a couple that's on a blind date. I just was curious, do you guys have any funny blind date stories or have witnessed a bad blind date, good or bad, that you could share with us? I just think that uh, I remember when, uh, I mean, this is back in the 1800s when I went on a blind date, but mm. I remember it was such a reflection of what that friend thought of you. <laughs> who they set you up with. It was just like, wow. So this <laughs> friend really doesn't think highly of me. Like, it's just also weird how people pair people up. It's like, oh, well, you have blonde hair. She has blonde hair. You must like each other. And you're like, that's not how it works. I truly am such fans of both of you. It's so good to see you in this and so great to meet you here. You can catch Collide in theaters and on demand now.